February 2nd is World Wetlands Day. What are wetlands and where can we find them? In addition to swamps and mangroves, in fact, we live surrounded by wetlands in urban and rural areas, in the mountains and by the sea. Wetlands can be found everywhere. All ecological functions needed for adaption to climate change. This is why they are sometimes referred to as the kidneys of the earth. Wetlands provide the function of purifying water, filtering pollutants, producing oxygen, regulating microclimates. Wetlands are closely related to people's lives. River wetlands are the birthplace of human civilization. How can wetlands contribute to mitigating climate change and maintaining ecology? Wetlands have influenced human beings since the dawn of time, and ancient civilizations originated from fertile riverbanks. Human societies grew out of water sources. Human history has been shaped and influenced by wetlands. Wetlands occupy the transition between land and water, a breeding ground for all life on Earth. Wetlands, along with forests and oceans, are considered as the three major ecosystems on the planet. Nourishing, rich habitats, providing areas of shelter, foraging and reproduction. All organisms rely on the preservation of wetland ecology to survive, and wetlands have the potential to maintain biodiversity. In 2015, the United Nations announced the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Climate change, economic growth, social inclusion and environmental protection inspiring the world to work together towards sustainability. How can wetlands play their part? Wetlands exist throughout the planet. They are important for natural species and human survival. As an essential ecosystem, they are not only a source of clean water, they protect waterfronts and are the greatest carbon sink we have. Wetlands are important for agriculture and fisheries. Just as kidneys are vital for our body's survival, wetlands purify water for the earth by filtering sewage, Wetlands provide a habitat for birds to shelter, feed, and reproduce. They are one of the most productive ecosystems on Earth. Yonyang Lake, a precious alpine lake in Taiwan, is an important national wetland. Yonyang Lake is hidden deep in the snow-capped mountains. Cypress forests, lakes, swamps, and other diverse environments here support a vast biodiversity. Year-round low temperature and a rainy and cold climate create a unique temperate rainforest. Lichens and mosses densely coat rhododendron trees, forming a magnificent verdant landscape, reminiscent of a fantasy world of fiction. The Taiwan salamander, a mysterious glacial relic, can be found in these vertical wetlands, one of the five endemic species of Taiwan. During the Ice Age, salamanders migrated from Japan to Taiwan via land bridges. Then, in the interglacial period, the glaciers receded and the temperature of ancient Taiwan island rose. In order to survive, Taiwan salamanders migrated from low altitudes to high altitudes to live in low temperature and humid vertical wetlands. Taiwan is the southernmost habitat of salamanders in the world. 
Although not large on a global scale, Taiwan has an extraordinarily diverse wetland environment, which requires great attention and preservation. Wetland conservation is crucial for sustainable development and the maintenance of biodiversity. Nature is changing. Our world is changing. Taiwan's authorities are finding new ways of doing things. People are working together to actively participate in wetland conservation and the maintenance of Taiwan's ecosystem. Taiwan is proud to host the 2024 SWS Annual Meeting and the International Wetland Conference in Taipei. From November 11th to November 17th, we invite you to come and participate in a wetland journey from Taipei to Tainan. As one of the important stopover stepping stones of East Asian migratory birds, you too can visit Taiwan with your nearest and dearest to enjoy the grand and diverse migratory bird flocks, and the wetland ecology. Taiwan, with a famously friendly, safe, and welcoming tourist environment, combined with a delicious food culture, possesses coastal wetlands and vast areas of mangroves and seagrass beds. The 2024 SWS Annual Meeting will focus on blue, green, and teal carbon to highlight the carbon sink potential of wetlands for actively responding to global carbon emissions and climate change. We welcome you with open arms. See you in Taiwan in 2024.